All right, gang. This is the third and final video that I'm going to put out on this Nylon Econoline Army Ambulance. It, it was made in 1965, sold for one year, and it's number 7300. Now, in video two, I, I showed you guys that I painted the doors, mounted them, but I couldn't find the color that the vans painted. So the closest I could come up with in my town did not match at all. And so I got the decals and I put them on and it kind of helps. Um, you can still see the doors aren't the right color, but it works. I got the little light on. I got that this weekend along with the decals and I'm still on the fence about getting the interior I probably will uh, it's just not going to happen immediately and I know I'm probably going to have a pretty hard time finding the gurney or stretcher I think they call it a stretcher with this van I don't know if they reproduce them or not but if they do I will pick one up when I see it and I'm pretty sure I'll have to buy it off of eBay all right, but let's check out these decals and see what you guys think if uh, putting all four decals on all four doors help it. I still don't, but I'll show it to you anyway. All right, originally only one of the side doors had the, the Red Cross decal on it, but I went ahead and put it on both doors on the side and on the rear. It does help with the difference in the colors between the doors and the van, but you still see the difference. I'm, I'm a little happier with it like this. Uh, I still plan on trying to hunt down some paint. You know, and if I do, I will pull the doors off, order some, another set of decals, and repaint the doors and put the decals on appropriately. Uh, I think this side was the only side, only door that had a decal on it. And same for the back. All right, shot of the back, and I think that this door is the door on the back that had the cross on it. But as I said, I put uh, one on each door to break up the the green. And I, all, I was contemplating pulling the doors off so I can put the decals on perfect. It's bad enough that they're brand new and they're vibrant. But looking at how the decals was applied on the front, and I'll show you that shot again they're not on right they're crooked both of them so i just put them on as you see and i had an error but i can live with it i i'm happy how it turned out not happy with the color of the doors but you know i'm quite pleased with the outcome Now when I see this ambulance and the white ambulance on eBay, most of them are missing the little light. It's just a bulb, I mean a little dome, red dome that clips on. And I can see why most of them are missing. They're, they're pretty frail and it's just two little clips that hold them on. And if I thought about it, I'd have showed you the parts or showed you the light and the decal sheet before I attached the decals and install the light or attach the light it, but it brings it all back together now i'm gonna i still plan to get another one i want a panel van and if i can get one cheap that's what that's what i want to do that's what i want to do with this i'm gonna keep my eyes on ebay and flea markets and yard sales and all that Typically, I don't see the vans. I've seen trucks. I've actually picked up a kennel truck because I have two of them. I have a video of that, of both of them, both missing dogs. But I picked up one, I don't recall if it's a flea market, antique store, or yard sale, but I, I picked one up there. At, well, I picked both of them up in places I don't recall where I got them. I've had them such a long time. But that's the, that's the uh, last video of this. I'm not an expert. I'm not a painter. I don't work with metal, but I'm quite happy with the outcome, even though the doors don't match. 
I think it's, it's going to display well. I'm pleased with it. I will hang on to it like all my other press steel. If you don't have this van or a nylon econoline van in your collection, if you do collect nylons or tonkas or press steel toys, I would suggest you get one. The van has great detail. I mean, it has really great detail. I'm pleased with it. I'm happy with how it turned out, and I'm going to continue looking for the paint. Get those doors fixed. Now, I paid way too much to do what I did. There was a couple of vans on eBay that has already been restored. I could have pretty much bought one of those for what I've got tied up in this one. I think it's maybe about a $10 difference. One of the vans was like $89. And uh, just give you a quick run through of how crazy I went because I typically don't do this. I, I pretty much buy the trucks and hunt down a pieces long term and then put it together. But this this is what I did. Got the van for $29 missing the doors. So we're gonna round it up to 30. I think it was eight dollars and some odd change to ship it, so we're gonna call it ten. So there's forty. The doors were ten dollars a piece, so there's another forty, but that was free shipping. So I got eighty dollars tied up already. And the decal sheet and the light was Oh shoot, I think it was another fifteen dollars, maybe twenty. And then the paint. <laughs> I think that paint was like four dollars. So actually I'd have probably come out cheaper just buying one that's already been uh restored or original. That the restored ones I saw on eBay, they're the color of the door but the vibrant color. It's still I think it's still on eBay uh to this day. Today is uh Saturday. And uh, what is the, what is the date? I can't think of the date to save my life. November seventh, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. It's the weekend after Halloween. I'm off on days. But that's it for the van. Uh, thank you guys for checking out my videos. Leave some comments. Tell me how bad you think it looks or how good you think it looks. I can take it. Uh, as I said, I'm not a body man, I'm not a paint man. But I enjoyed putting this little truck back together. And I can't wait to put it on the shelf with my other econolines. Thanks for viewing. Have a great day.